The question is, where does your tea come from? And that depends, of course, upon what type of tea you mean. So we'll start off with the the traditional English style black teas that you might find in our tea bags or in supermarket tea bags. Um, in our case, those come from India and Africa. Uh, the Indian teas, that's Assam. So in India, you've got two main regions, Darjeeling and Assam. Darjeeling is up in the mountains, in the foothills of the Himalayas. Assam is down in a floodplain of the river Brahmaputra. So two very different styles. And um, the low-lying Assam teas come out thick and rich and malty and the high-grown Darjeeling teas come out light and bright and biscuity with a so-called muscatel character. Darjeeling tea, not very popular, frankly, in this country anymore, uh, although it is the quintessential afternoon tea. Assam, very, very useful in our blends, and most of the supermarket blends would in include at least some of it, particularly the better ones. We use quite a lot of Assam in our tea bag blends. The other constituent being East African teas, for example, Kenya, Zimbabwe. The good teas from this region have lots of richness and body as well as colour. The poorer teas from that region have just colour and harsh tannin strength, not rich flavoury strength. Increasingly these days, um, teas are being bought from secondary origins um, such as um, Malawi, Rwanda, Rwanda teas in, from Africa, much, much better have, over the last 20 years. Um, but also, I'm thinking of places like Argentina and Iran, which produce extremely second quality teas, but are increasingly used as companies struggle to meet the price demands of supermarkets. So that is the traditional tea bag style teas. In addition, you've got origins such as Sri Lanka, known as Ceylon tea. Uh, quality in, in Sri Lanka declined significantly in the mid to late 70s, it's on the increase again, but very little bought these days, whereas once that was the mainstay of the British tea trade. Um, Sri Lankan tea, Ceylon tea, the archetypal English breakfast tea, so an old English breakfast blend as ours is, would be mainly Ceylon tea. And then you've got the specialities, so China, Japan, China producing green teas such as gum powder and black teas such as Kimun and the smoky tea Lapsang. Japan producing light, um, rich green teas of um, extremely interesting good quality. Uh, the famous tea Genmai Cha which has popped rice in it, um, you may have heard of. So there is an incredibly quick rundown of, um, of, where, we buy, of where we buy our teas and I hope that helps.